Well, hi everyone, welcome back to another brand new video and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, fix all kind of lags and stutter in all new Delta Force public beta dropped today. I hope this guy helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the essential settings on your PC. And for that, search for settings on your system and then head down to gaming. Go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of CPU and RAM utilization, reducing your FPS. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on as it will optimize your PC by disabling things and services off in the background and it will help you to improve your FPS significantly. Right beneath that you'll find graphic settings. Click on that and this is the major part. Click on change default graphic settings and you'll find in two options over here. First one will be hardware accelerated GPU scheduling which will actually utilize your GPU to render the game so you're gonna have to turn this thing on and optimizations for windowed games and this uses advanced features in compatible games to reduce your input latency. What you guys have to do is enable this setting on as well and after that go back to graphics. Here you have to click on the browse button and then you have to look for the game you have installed. Once you are in the folder of your game, head over to Game, Delta Force, Binaries, Win64. Scroll a bit down until you find Delta Force Client, Win64Shipping.exe. Click on Add. Head over to its options, select High Performance, then it will utilize your GPU to render the game. Simply click on Save and close it. Step number two is disabling background apps. In Windows 10, you have a native option to disable background apps from the settings. But if you guys are on Windows 11, here is how to do that. Simply search for Local Group policy editor and you'll find edit group policy open this thing up this method is only available for windows pro users so if you guys have windows home edition or any other this won't work here head over to administrative templates windows components app privacy and in here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click on that and then head over to enable this will enable this policy and then options you'll find default for all applications you guys have to set to force deny click on apply and then ok this will force deny all of the applications running in the background step number three is creating a restore point and for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And then over here, look for local disk C, click on create and name it to Delta Force just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. And do not worry, it's completely safe. Simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Delta Force FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in six simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority. In here, you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Now, once again if you have an amd cpu like me you have to double click and run the amd cpu priority however yeah if you have an intel cpu you have to double click and run the intel cpu priority this will set up the best cpu registries instead of the stock ones and it will help you to improve the throughput of your processor go back head over to the second folder that is ram optimization in which i have left a ton of presets according to your ram i use 32 gb ram so it could be different for you i need to apply this one right click and then simply open with registry editor this will set up the correct values and dvert for your RAM which will help you to increase the performance. Once again, if you see any kind of performance issues, you guys can use reset to default registry over here to set it back again. Third folder is the major folder over here that is Delta Force priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. These folders help you to set up the game priority on your hardware level. Once again, this will utilize majority of your hardware to render the game and you guys can see drastic FPS boost just by applying this registry. Here, I want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose from over here. Fourth is the PC optimization in which I have left three batch files. First one is BCD tweaks. This will help you to reduce your input latency. It has a few commands over here. Disable dynamic tick, use platform clock and use platform tick. You guys have to simply right click and run this as administrator and this will run all of these commands for you. Next is disable memory compression. This is a service in Windows which helps you to compress your memory allowing it to perform faster. But most of the time you are not using the benefits out of it and it is constantly using Using your CPU in the background. Disabling that will help you to reduce the number of processes running in the background related to memory compression and however this might cause any kind of FPS issues, you guys can always enable that back again by editing in notepad and change this disable to enable and run this again to enable your memory compression. If this causes any kind of FPS drops, I would recommend you guys to enable it but disabling that helped me to gain extra performance in almost all of the game. Next is disable process 
mitigation. This will solely help you to improve your CPU's performance. Right click and run this as administrator and this will run a few commands on your PC that will help you to improve its performance. Fifth folder is the power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan registry. In here I have left ultimate performance power plan command prompt. You have to right click and run this as administrator. I have already done that so I need to go to power plans. And after you run it, you will see something called ultimate performance on your PC right over here. If that is not in the preferred plans, you have to go over to show additional options and you'll find it somewhere in this list. Go back and let's go to the last folder that is programs in which I have left two simple programs. First one is clean temporary file. This will help you to clean all of the temporary files created by programs. And don't worry, these are just dumb files so you guys can run this as administrator. Once you're on this screen, you have to simply press enter and it will start deleting all temporary files of your PC. Once that is deleted, you guys can press any key and that will close the batch files. Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Right click and run this as administrator. We are using this program to improve your GPU's performance. You have to locate your GPU into this list and click on the MSI button in front of it. For the interrupt priority, set it to high as it can apply many interrupts altogether, improving the performance of your PC. This will help you to set up the correct SFIO priority for your GPU so you guys can apply that and close it. And you can also close the FPS pack. Next step is disabling unwanted wanted startup applications as this will reduce the number of processes running in the background of your PC. Press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together on your keyboard and this will open up your task manager. You guys can also look for task manager on your PC. Head over to the startup apps section and you'll find all of the applications that are by default set to enable or open right after you boot your PC. You guys have to make sure that you disable almost every single one of them, especially the ones that you do not use right after the boot of your PC. This will help you to not only improve your BIOS booting time, but it will also help you to run less number of services by default. And you guys can only use that service if you want to run those applications. For example, there are some applications that I want right after I start my PC, some of which includes Steam, Wallpaper Engine, Bright Client services VG tray as these are anti-cheat servers and disabling them might lead to crashing of your games but other than that I have kept everything disabled you wanna have to make sure that your last BIOS time is as minimum as possible next step is setting up your virtual memory and this is way more important than you think simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your PC and over here for the visual effects click on adjust for best performance and then enable save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts, as well as show window contents while dragging. This will disable as many animations as you can on your PC, helping you to improve the performance by a little bit. I click on apply after that then head over to the advanced tab and over here in the virtual memory click on change deselect automatically manage pitching file size and then for the custom size set this into 1361 as it is the most optimal value that i have found during my testing after that i want you all to open up your calculator and keep it beside the performance option then you have to look for the ram that you have installed on your pc and for that you can simply search for system information on your pc look for the total installed memory that is 32 gb for me so multiply that with with 1024 because you need the memory size in megabytes right over here. Now I want you all to divide this value by 2 and the new value that you get over here is to be pasted in the maximum size. Click on set, click on ok and that is how you guys have to set virtual memory for your game. The basic objective of virtual memory is when your memory runs out of space and your game requires more RAM, it will use your hard disk or SSD as a temporary RAM and it will help you to improve your performance by a bit and fix game crashing and a lot more. Next step is looking for Steam on your PC and locate Delta Force right over there. Right click on the game, head over to properties. In the launch option, you guys have to type in hyphen use all available cores. This is really simple and this will help you to utilize all CPU cores and this will help you to improve your game performance. Once that is done, simply close it and now click on the play button and drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Over here, go down to graphics and you will immediately see everything over here. Now, what you have to do is set your monitor to your default monitor. 
display adapter to your native graphic card. Display mode should be set to full screen always. Resolution should be your native monitor resolution. Display refresh rate should be the highest available for your monitor. Display area aspect ratio should be a native monitor aspect ratio. Then in match FPS cap should be set to the highest available for your monitor. Out of the match cap should be set to 30. Sharpness should be according to you. V-Sync should be turned off. Nvidia fast sync should be turned off. Default FOV, I like mine 110. It could be different for you. Scroll a little bit down until you find the graphic preset. Set this thing to custom so you can change everything you want. Also, before changing any of these settings, go down and disable super resolution because it adds a ton of input latency and fake FPS. I did some tests and I came to know that super resolution turned off will help you to gain extra performance in this game. Over here, anti-aliasing, you guys have to turn this thing off. Weapon motion blur should be set to off. Reflections should be set to low. Texture filtering should be set to high. Ambient occlusion off. Particles low. Distortion low. Scene details, you can set it to medium. But that And scene of view details, you guys can go with medium over here as well. Go a little bit down and you'll find rendering scale. You guys can change it according to your PC. I would recommend you guys to go to 90% over here because higher the render scale, lower the FPS. This might make your game a little bit blocky, but you guys can gain extra performance if you set it to 90 and the game still looks good as you guys saw in the initial gameplay. Global illumination quality should be set to low. Shaders and textures should be set to medium. Streaming, I have gone for high because my GPU is a bit better. But if you have a super low end PC, you guys can go with medium or low as well. Shadows should be set to low. Shadow map should be set to low. Post processing, again, low. Volumetric fog, low. Animations, low. Super resolution should be set to off. And Nvidia reflex low latency, go with enhanced if that is available for you. You have to apply these settings and that should be it. You guys can now drop into the game for the best in game settings. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button. Thanks a lot for 200 and 4,000 subscribers. I seriously appreciate your support. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.